as I said, I'm going to take you through this uh, program and uh, please feel free to ask questions anytime that you may have. This is my agenda. My, I would be giving you something about uh, what Sterling B2B Integrator is. I would explain to you the background. I would explain to you an overview of that, where it could be used, how it could be used, and so on. Following that, I take you through a process mo modeler, which by the name itself uh, indicates that it's a graphical process modeler. And uh, we would be going through an entire uh, session on that. I will also going to be taking you through some basic concepts, uh, then uh, on BPML, then cross path, then how to use the graphical process modeler, and in case at any point in time you have a problem with your business process, I would uh, help you with that, well, how to troubleshoot the problem, how to identify all these details we'll be going through. And um, we also will be going through a small case study, which we'll be building it up right from the beginning. Uh, gradually, as I do some theory, you do the hands-on. I would show you initially how to do it, but later on you need to practice. And unless you practice, it will not be uh, possible for you to uh, understand the entire process of B2B. Once we troubleshoot, we would be going to uh, the next stage of service management. I'll tell you what exactly is a service is. At this stage, let me just put it uh, in very short uh, and what you do every day. Now, a service is a request which you go and ask for. Example, you go to the ATM, you ask for a service. The service could be transfer of funds, the service could be withdrawal, the service could be uh, asking for anything. All your details, whatever you want, is displayed on the monitor and uh, you need to access that through the directions, through the uh, means which are outlined on the monitor. So how to manage all this? After I give you what a service is, we go into the details of management of this. I would, uh, though you might see the case study coming up later, I would prefer that you start with the case study. I'll explain to you what the case study is and how to actually gradually do the needful. The B2B integrator, the software which you would be working on, how exactly you would be mapping that to the various aspects that you would be learning, to the various uh, things what you see in the case study, how to map the whole thing, how to track your system health. Now, uh, at any point in time, if the system goes down, if the system goes slow, how to track that? Because it is a business to business interaction that you would be doing. We'll also be looking at uh, what are the best practices so that you can follow these best practices, uh, practice them so that you are in a better position to understand the entire uh, system. Anytime, I repeat this, anytime during a session, please feel free to ask questions. I would be honored to uh, answer your doubts. I would be grateful to know that you are looking at, though it's an online program and not a one-to-one, -one, that is a face-to-face, -face, I still would prefer it to be more interactive. Once I give you all the best practices, I would uh, like you to practice these. There are a good amount of uh, instructions, good amount of exercises that you need to do as you proceed further. And finally, we wrap it up. Now to, uh, today, I'm going to give you a basic idea. What exactly is a Sterling B2B integrator? Now, it's a tool, a tool which helps you to automate basic commerce, basic commercial activities, which help you to 
do collaborate in real time various, various business details. It's a dynamic tool. What you do is immediately reflected in it. For example, when you look at a railway reservation or an airline reservation, the ticket that you get immediately updates the database. The booking that you do immediately updates the database. This is real time. I'm sure you're aware of that. This tool helps you to do all these things so that you know exactly what is happening. It's a process centric transaction, a business process centric transaction that helps you to model and manage various processes. There are different processes which will be, which you can term it as sub process of a major process. Now you need to actually do each transaction and for each transaction, it would be going from uh, top to bottom, depending upon the path that you choose to execute a process. You can route it through complex means. You can do the translation from actual uh, usage of the process to actual execution of the process. You can integrate these flexibly and you can do have interaction in real time with various multiple internal systems and also external trading partners. So at any point in time, you would be doing, uh, I would say, multitasking uh, type of work. You can, uh, be, you will be involved with external partners, trading partners, and it will be real time. You would be interacting with various internal systems. You can do complex routing and all that which is listed out and all that which you will see and which you will do. All these are integrated into the Sterling B2B tool. What are the benefits of this? You might uh, think it's very complex. It's highly complex to manage all of this, especially if, uh, let's say, when it is doing so much of work. But you'll see for sure that it's very, very simplified. Management is highly simplified. You can manage without any issues. And there's a definite methodology a definite, consistent, integrated deployment methodology. You can deploy your activities, you can deploy whatever actions you perform, whatever actions you need, you can deploy them without any problems. You can model and deploy end-to-end -end complex processes. Right from the word go, you can deploy these processes, however complex they are. And you, uh, you will notice that every company would require an application integration so that they can inter have their businesses uh, uh, running properly. They could meet their business goals without any problems. So this uh, tool helps you to integrate many applications that would be useful for any business process to be executed successfully. Some of the business goals are like this. At any point in time and at every point in time, you want to reduce the operational cost. You all know that, yes, I need to have my um, end, my goals met, but the cost should be as minimal as possible. In your uh, computer science class, you would have learned uh, many of these aspects. Minimize the, uh, it's an operational research type of problem. You need to increase the operational efficiencies, minimize the cost, increase the efficiencies of various operational details. Same time, you need to have the customer satisfied. If he's satisfied at one point, you need to improve that so that it meets his satisfaction completely. You need to increase the revenue. Operational cost needs to be maintained low, but while the revenue cost that you could get needs to be increased. You need to have a competitive position in the market. Retain, you should never lose. Retain the position that what you have at the moment or improve it. And you should be able to improve responsiveness both from the customer as well as 
from the tool that you have used. All these are plugged in as benefits when you actually use the B2B integrator. And what are the users, user interfaces that you could be aware of? Now, when I say user interface, it is the interaction between the user and the software that you would be using with. Now, they are the administrative interface. You would be able to use the administrative interface. You, as you see the administrative interface, the console, you will see many, many activities that can be performed. So these activities need to be performed and uh, you can do it through the administrator, administrative console. Then you can use the map editor. The map editor helps you to map the processes that are involved, the pipelines that are involved, right from the word go till the end. You can edit that. And you can also involve yourself with the graphical process model, the GPM. So as you see, there are a host of things that you can do. And you will be doing all this as soon as you start on the program. So that's why I said, please feel free to ask questions anytime, every time, and all times. This is what will help you to understand and further your thirst for a topic like Sterling B2B Integrator. This is how the administrative interface would look like, but you will be seeing it uh, in more detail as we proceed further. So on this left hand side, you have the administrator menu. This is my console. This is and these are certain details like that. So when you log in through a user ID and password, this is what you will look at, uh, which is called as administrative interface. Once you are, you'll be doing all these things, what you see on the left hand side on this, so that uh, you understand exactly what is going on. The map editor will help you to actually map, represent the translation of one type of input data onto a different type of output data. So you can actually do these mapping from the input data to the output data. I'll, I'll show you how to do and what is it that you would be doing when you actually try to do the mapping. And you will also be looking at the GPM. This is my pipeline which you will be looking at and uh, right from how to design the pipeline, what are these uh, things which are used, how these are done, everything for a particular pro business process you can start do from the start till the end. Okay. So this is how you need to actually execute your work. The administrative interface would give you allow you to set up the system configure the system maintain the system and also you will be working on this what is the entire business process that you would be involved what is what is who are the trading partners that you would be interacting with what is it that you'll be deploying how would you do the invoicing and how do you look at e-invoicing what are the various operations that you perform what are the way Various things. One second. Sorry. Yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, tell. Yeah. No. Hey, I'm here.
Sorry. Hello. Yeah, hello. Sorry. No, she was. That was an email. That is a call from my niece. She had been to the hospital doctor. She had just, she just told me what exactly. They, through the administrator interface, these are the various things that you would be looking at, and you'll also be looking at uh, the accounts uh, because this uh, is actually a tool which integrates all the factors, all the things which are involved have been integrated in this. So uh, just by one tool, you would be in a position to do all these things together. And uh, you would also be looking at the various business processes that uh, will allow you to manage, monitor. Uh, all this can be done through the business process manager. And the business process manager will, is another tool which helps you to actually work on all this. You can create new process definitions, you can search for existing process definitions, you can list the various process definitions that uh, need to be uh, running, you can run the graphical process model. There's a host of things that you would be uh, involved with. In fact, uh, this uh, tool will help you to actually interact uh, and get a fair idea or even a better idea as to what a business process could get involved with when actually being executed from a company. So in short, we have the entire system available to you. And believe me, if you really put your heart and soul into this, you would be learning a lot. Learning a lot from the industry point of view, learning a lot from your career point of view also. And uh, I would like you to do execute uh, these uh, exercises, complete them, because the next part of the exercise would depend on the first part of the exercise. Unless you finish the first part, there's no point in going into the second part of the exercise. Okay? Yes.